Hey, hi, everybody. Happy New Year. Yeah, it is a happy new year. You know, we're a week later, but hey, I, fi I figure all of January is a happy new year because we're all trying to figure out what 2024 is really going to be all about. What is it going to be about? Oh, well, no. Do we lose weight? Do we save money? Do we travel? Do we, I don't know what. All oh, of the above? Dry um, January? Dry January. I'm oh, are you? What are you drinking? What are you are drinking? You dry January? Yes. Look, this is what I'm drinking. Oh, brothers, you're no fun. It's, oh, you're not? I no, thought you Chris, were. That's Chris, why you Chris mentioned made, it. No, Chris made me a drink. Well, why'd you mention it then? Yeah, Chris made me a drink. <laughs> you know? So, Lisa and Amy, Amy and Lisa, we are live and we just want to really thank everyone for joining us. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, for all of you who may not know, I don't know, but Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, if you guys got any questions, Lisa's going to try and grab some, but our guest is <clears throat> what I told TikTok, <laughs> what I told TikTok is, you know, this guy who happens to be very tall. I've known him just as long as Lisa has pretty much known him. Yes. And so that has been what, seven years now, I think six, seven years, seven I, years, I think. Wow. Seven years. wow. And I just happened to be married to him. So my <laughs> husband, Chris is going to be joining us for this new year. I thought, I thought it'd be kind of fun. And Lisa agreed. So I said, well, yes. Lisa. oh my God. He agreed. No, I am so thankful that Chris agreed because this will be fun. Exciting. We're pretty real. We're pretty casual. We're pretty, you know, whatever. So if you guys have any questions, Lisa's going to try and grab them. Um, yeah. We're going to talk about some stuff too, just in case. But, um, you know, it's Chris and I. We got married later in life. Him for the first time. Me, second. Um, but, you know, just about life. I know. So, it's going to be great. No, it's so, be so great. It, it'll be really fun. So, you guys, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. And I also wanted to say um, thank you for listening to our show and special podcast apps that include Spotify, Pandora, Google, Amazon Music, and iHeartRadio today. That we have a lot of coverage. You know that? We we're all over the place. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm and, scared about all these people. <laughs> I know. And then special thanks to Naveed, our producer. Yeah. We couldn't do this without him. So thank you so much, Naveed. You're you're a blessing for us uh uh midlife senior ladies, I guess we could say now, <laughs> being patient with us trying to connect every every one of these shows. So thank you. You know, what, you. You know what made me think of Naveed today? Because I, you know, this is the outfit I wore teaching you guys. I just got back from teaching first grade, which I had a blast. I mean, I love subbing, but I love like subbing for a teacher. Like I got to yes. first grade. I, I'm like thankful that she trusted me with her kids, but she is very well organized. She had all the slides. A lot of slides are on the computer, but then you hit a projector button and do the camera. Oh thing. yeah. How did that then, work out for you? Then you do a uh, overhead thing and then you slide it over. That goes on the screen. And then I forgot to slide it back. And then you got to tap the screen screen again <laughs> to get the slide back. And I'm like, I, I tried to arrive at seven. I got there about 10 after seven. And, uh, and so there's one other teacher. I said, you know, I asked her, I said, I am so sorry, but how do I like do this? <laughs> so she was so, so grateful. She helped me. And, and after she helped me a couple of times before, all the students came, which I was like, oh, thank you, Lord. That was nice. It it, it went pretty good. It went pretty oh, good. good. So, handling good. the technology, I think, was half the battle. And I'm well, like, okay, that's accomplished. Now I can, you know. Well, you told me last night when we were talking, you're like, okay, I have to work on all this equipment tomorrow and I've had no training. How am I going to do this? And I was, I was panicking for you. Cause I mean, that's what we do, right? We're, yeah. Yeah. we're not quick. Our brains don't go, okay, flip this, do this, do this. We're like, well, I, to, why? Well, like you and I talked about it too. It's one of the things like learning a language, mm -hmm. you know, I, yeah, I could, I learn a language, but it would be a lot more work instead of learning a language when I was 20 to me, computer is a language. They're on like Windows, Microsoft, Google, Chrome, all that stuff. 
I'm on an Apple. I mean, it just feels like a whole different like program. It is. It is. You know? It, so yeah. It is. So, well, should, should we do some shout outs? We've got I a think lot we of should. I think all we should. over. Uh hello from South yeah. Africa. Felicity. Wow. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome. Oh, someone from Alaska said the cookbook is great, Amy. Oh, thank you so much. I didn't oh, catch your name, but I, I Connie really Coffee. Connie Coffee. There she is. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank Thanks, you, Connie. Connie. I, I really appreciate that. Uh, the next season of Little People Big World airs February 20th. Hold on and get ready. It could be a doozy. There, hello Maybe. from snowy British Columbia, Canada. Hello from Tennessee. <gasps> Jackie from Nova Scotia. Oh, they love my cooking videos too. Hey, if you got a Canadian recipe, if any yeah. of you guys have a recipe like that's something of your state or area, or like, um, how should I say, Lisa, like a, like a family tradition or something like yes, that. Yes, yes. Email arlittlekitchen at gmail.com. I would love to see some of those recipes and give it, you know, my spin on it. I, I would love yeah. it. Uh, that'd be awesome. Great way to start the new year. I oh, love yeah. it. Well, let's yeah. do a few more shout outs. We've got uh, special little people, big world fans, John Dean from Tacoma, Washington. Thank you, John. Oh, yeah. Uh, Margie Sanchez from Los Angeles, California. Welcome. Heather Kahn from Boston, Massachusetts. Boston. Boston, 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 Jim Bishop from Missoula, Montana. All hey, I right. had to say a shout out from Sarah from uh, Minnesota. Uh, they're on TikTok here. Um, Pittsburgh, Casey from Pittsburgh. Hello from Michigan. I am so, oh, someone from Albany, Oregon. I think Ed. Oh, cool. cool. Um, and just cool. to let you know, um, we're only seeing comments from YouTube and Facebook on Restream right now, not Instagram. So sorry, Instagram, you're watching us, but we won't be able to take comments today from you. So uh, we're working on our our uh, streamlining of all this. So well, the thing we'll... is, it's not, uh, let's be clear about that. It is not the issue on our end. It's yes. really about joining all of these technical platforms together and restream able to handle it. So we're kind of working on yeah. that. So sorry, Instagram. Yeah. I think I grabbed yeah. One but question. just so you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Hello from Yamhill, Oregon, Diana. Diana. We have New York, Lincoln <gasps> city, Oregon. Lincoln Maine. City. I'm pulling a few. Or this is the most Oregon we've had on here forever. Oh, thank you, Oregon. Hi from Washington oh. State. Oh, Westland, uh, Michigan. I was from Westland. I was born and raised in Westland, Michigan. Oh, my goodness. Uh, look at this one from Norway. This one's, I'll Ooh. pop this one up. Maya Maze. Thorstad from Norge, Norway. Wow. Amazing. Amazing Thorstad. Oh, Norway. I love you. So, Noah. Georgia, shout out from a fellow, what is it, from a fellow, oh, I can't do this. Oh uh, I'll grab some here, so let's see, California, <laughs> woo, they're flying, Alberta, to Miami, Canada. Oklahoma. Isn't that funny, Miami, Oklahoma? <laughs> taking hey, from Alberta, Canada, my grandma has lots of her own recipes, and I'm going to send you some, oh, thank you. Grandma? You're a Thank blessing. You. I would love, I, I'm just so, um, it's been something that Lisa and I have always, you know, wanted to do. It's like kind of one of our, you know, dream trips or whatever like dream that. Um, figure out, you know, a, kind of like a story, like a thing that I could do and just travel around the country and really just visit people's homes. And, and I know someone else on uh, Food Network did it, but I'd have to figure out a different spin for it. But just really visit all of you guys and just tell me about your family tradition when it comes to food and, you know, stuff like that. Yes. And it doesn't yes. always be cultural, but you could be generations like Wisconsin's. And yeah, know, yeah. We, we get to so, have traditions. I love it. Okay, Austin, I'm saying hi from Middlebury, Connecticut. And right. then I have 
Sandra Morris from Jamaica. All right, Ooh, Jamaica. Jamaica. And Amy Thanks, and I have been Jamaica. to Jamaica. So well, you have we, been there multiple times because your husband, Art, is from Jamaica. That is true. That right? is true. But yeah. we actually went with and have donated to the Issa Trust Foundation there when we had our charity foundation and helped um, school kids around the island and uh, did uh, some stuff with the health minister. So welcome, Sandra. We really appreciate you being here. I know you and I still miss that a little bit, I think. I miss you it know, a lot. Just, yeah, just just kind of being in that mode. I mean, it was a lot of work putting on those things. A lot, a lot, uh, but yeah. I, I met with the ladies group yesterday. I'm down here in Cabo San Lucas for a couple months. Um, yes. We're kind of going it's back and forth. And <laughs> well, it's too cold in Oregon right now for oh, me. Boy. And my husband, who's from Jamaica, is freezing. So anyway, we, we've been doing that. And we met with the ladies group. And they were talking about different charity things they could do. And I just sat on my hands. I was like, I'm not going to say anything that I've done this before. I want, I'm just going to listen, let someone else do it. If something comes up that I can get involved in, I will slightly get involved, but it, there's so much to putting events on and well, there's but so, it's so rewarding. On it. And then, um, you know, and, and if that's all you're doing is putting on events, are you a charity foundation to begin with? So you can cover reimburse some of those costs of some way or, because if not, you're using a lot of your own money to, you know, not only do that, but also to maybe give. So it's a tough one. Yeah, it's, it's a, a tough, tough one. one. And but it's just so rewarding when you're at when you're done and we write those checks and, yeah. you know, help the people out and see the kids. I mean, we went to Haiti and yeah. gave out uh, hygiene kits yeah. that Nike yeah. donated backpacks for us. And we put hygiene kits together when they had yeah. that horrible earthquake. And my, kids, and those oh, and my boys came, too. Yes, and my son, and just that, those kids, the smile on their faces. I watch those videos now and go, wow, we made a difference, even for two hours in somebody's life or a few months because they had soap and yeah, water. Yeah, we definitely had some moments where um, in Haiti and that one homeless shelter here back in the day where that one little girl asked me to read a book to her or something like yeah. that or just or sit down. And, after I, we I, served I, a meal. Yeah. Yes. With Chef Perry, uh, yeah, we had some good, yeah. good days, good yeah, days. But well, anyway, let's do here we are. Shout outs. Well, I wanted to say are. hi. Oh, go okay. on. I no, just I want to say hi to Deb. Deb. Oh yes, you know what? It is so funny. I was thinking the same thing. Our friend Deb. Deb. Hello. Hi. I haven't seen it pop doing? up yet, but yay. I'm not sure if my friend Ellen or Kay are watching, but hi, hi to you guys too, and. Yeah, Ellen and Kay. Yeah, I'm not awesome. sure. Who else. But awesome. it's the happy new year. It's a new year. So the biggest thing is what are our goals? You know, what what are we doing here? Yeah, um, yeah I would say my well, goal is to get better in shape. Chris and I continue to have that goal. And I don't think it, it's almost like a life goal because you go through different stages of your body and just life in general. And, and you have to like do a redo, like a a uh, refresh like we do on the computer. Yeah. A refresh. A uh, 2024 should be like a refresh. I, I yeah. get it. I get it. Yeah. Well, so. let's just so everybody knows, be ready for our giveaway at the end of the show. Four lucky winners will receive Amy's book, A Little Me. Uh, one lucky winner from Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Yes, TikTok is on a different screen. And again, they can't. Can, can really... I repeat that just in case they didn't hear your voice? Oh, yes. TikTok. So TikTok, we are giving a giveaway uh, to you, one of you, view, one of you that are here live, um, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and it's going to be a book, an autograph book, my book, A Little Me. I only have a few more copies left. And so I want to give some away, give some away Yay. to you guys. Maybe I need to write another so, one. I don't know. So tell them to wait till oh, the yes. end of the show so and there'll wait, be a code. Though. You have to wait though, because there will be a code. Oh, my friend Ellen texted me right now. <laughs> Ellen. Bro. Hi, Ellen. So TikTok, there will be a code. I'll give you the code towards the end. And so whoever pushes those, you know, that types that in, in the code there in the comments here, 
Um, we have someone else watching. And so they will, you know, pick one of you guys too, but it has to be in the U S we cannot ship this overseas. Right. Uh, I think we can ship to Canada. So we can only uh, ship to Canada and the U S we may not be able to ship to like Mexico and, uh, Norway or right anywhere. now. So I'm so sorry. For yes. That. So sorry. Yes. But yes. Yeah. All right. Well, I think our guest needs no introduction. Oh, are we bringing Chris on? Right. Now? I think we're. I think we're ready. We're ready. Oh. Okay. Oh. Don't okay. you think? Are you ready? I don't know. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready for Chris and I? Ooh, this is Q and I. This is like the newlywed game. Ooh, bring those questions on, people. Okay, Dave. <laughs> are you ready? He's ready. Okay. All right. Well, this is our first live session. We're going to have some fun reflecting and sharing, real talk, Q&A okay. session, and setting the scene for 2024. Yeah. Hey, Chris. Hi. Say hi over here, Welcome. too. Welcome. Hi over there, too. Welcome to our crazy show. <laughs> little PDA for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta throw oh. that in. I mean, goodness mm -hmm. gracious. But anyway, yes, Chris and I are here. Lisa's gonna probably be monitoring this a little bit more than me asking you. Uh, or well, I hope she's selective. She knows. Uh, <laughs> she, <laughs> she knows the dirt on huh? <laughs> She knows if, if I. <laughs> If I want to stay friends with Amy, I'm going to be very respectful. <laughs> <laughs> we have a pact. We're Lucy and Ethel, and we have yeah, a pact, yeah. right, Amy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lisa so, and I are Lucy yeah. and Ethel. TikTok, I hope you can hear Lisa talking. Maybe oh, yes. You if not, you can repeat. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think we'll start with reflecting and sharing yeah. uh, for 2024, um, looking back on topics and discussions that resonated with most of us and from you over the past year. So we're going to start with the number one most asked question. And Chris, <laughs> what is it? just bear with us. <laughs> and, and we want to know your opinion. Uh are Amy, are you going to change your name to just Merrick? Yeah. Yeah. We, um, I mean, you and I talked about that, didn't we? And stuff like that. Well, and... I actually brought it up first. Yeah. Yeah. Because oh, I, I did. debated. Well, I debated. About no, it. I was letting her know. I let her know right up front that I understand <laughs> that, um, you know, she had a couple different business ventures going. And so, and she's been going for, by roll off for half her life, um, that if she wanted to incorporate that into her last name, that I was fine with that. I mean, I'm a business person. I, I understand how that See, works. See, you guys, you, you know? hear it from him. Oh. Good answer. Good answer. Oh. So I, I and, and that's why I picked roll off Merrick. And I think Although, I had. <laughs> oh wait a minute I okay. had to take a Christmas ornament off the tree this year <laughs> that she snuck on Hoarded, I, said I supported you this is not the roll off family household we had to take that well off. the ornament that I had wait a minute the ornament that I had was a fireplace scene it did say the roll off and I had bought this eons ago and you know it's so funny I debated whether to put that on or not but I said well it has all my kids on there and Matt's but, name. Yeah, yeah. But I, I appreciate, you know what? The thing I appreciated is, is that he shared and he let me know what he was thinking during our open house. Wasn't it? Our I was house? there. And witnesses, yeah. <laughs> and I supported him. I said, take it off. Yeah. Take and it so off. I gave the ornament because Jacob, Jacob happened to be here or something. The next day. Yeah. The next day, Jacob happened to be here or something. And uh, I gave it to him. I said, would you Actually, like Actually, I gave it to him. I said, oh, Jacob, yeah. take this out of the oh, house. Yeah. This is yours. <laughs> wow. Wow. I, that I was haven't the seen first you react time. that strongly ever, right? <laughs> yes. I, I have never seen him like that. But you know what? I get it. I get it. I get you it. You know, I, I definitely have some ornaments of just he and I that we took, like uh, our photographer for our wedding. Um you know, made like a little ornament. I put that on the tree. I did like a little motorcycle, you know, those people at the craft shows 
they, you know, do those clay things or something like that. I have an ornament of just he and I, you know, with just, you know, Amy and Chris, like we're, we're like uh, Santa and Santa's helper, you know, uh, yeah. I have another one that we, um, someone did for us. Maybe it was Tori. I don't know. Um, did it on a wood piece and our picture was on there. And, oh, look at that. Sharon says, good for you, Chris. No, yeah. Sharon, you're right. You, you are right. <laughs> It was I love it. I it was love good. it. But um, but no, I mean, we we've known each other seven years now, right? Yeah. Wow. Well, and that brings me to my next question: How is married life? I want to hear from both of you separately. Let's start with Chris. <laughs> Let's start with Chris on that one. Oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> no, he will say it's challenging. It's, well, it, let's, let's hear it's a you. learning experience. Yeah. I mean, um, I, I, I mean, it's absolutely where I wanted, to, you know, hoping that I would be someday, you know, having oh, a, a, the right partner and, and somebody planning the rest of my life with and, and, um, you know, kn knowing who I'm going to be with, uh, not only next week, but years from now. Yeah. <laughs> so, um but uh it's you're giving it's, me chills that's amazing that's amazing but it's been challenging um you know God, learning how to okay amy's phone's going nuts i know it sounds like zach uh, sorry TikTok. Okay. i don't know why she doesn't have it on airplane mode. i i don't know either yeah. i forgot do not disturb you forgot yeah, i forgot yeah. but anyway go on but it's uh for me it's just uh challenging um you know just sharing a space and everything else with, with another person and not having everything my way when I want it to be. <laughs> oh, he has a oh. little of an issue with that. Mm. Yes. Oh, but, yeah. but as your friend, I Amy, compromised before. But, but Amy, as your friend, can I say that kind of goes for you too? Um, Wanting your way? Well, um, <laughs> I, I think in a, in a different yes. context about wanting my way, because, you know, my life has always been, I've always had someone, either the kids, Matt, all of us together doing this for them or him, or, you know, whatever it may be going here, going there, that now that I'm, it's pretty much just me, obviously I'm a grandmother yes. and everything, but it's just me. I'm like, oh, listen. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I don't tell her what you to don't, do. You right. don't. You don't. You don't. No, he doesn't. I can attest and to that. And so it's like, <laughs> well, maybe I want this piece of paper there or, you know, something okay. like that. Yeah. I question <laughs> a lot of things around the house, but I don't tell her. <laughs> Amy, can we please find a home for this thing that's sitting in the middle of the floor for five days? <laughs> <laughs> but um and so, I love in, I love Angela's comment. She said, Doesn't everyone want their way? Sure, we all have our Angela, ideas, that, that is right? Good. That is good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Neither one of us are pushovers, so and so That's good. you know, I, I think it's a compromise in different ways. I mean, definitely probably bigger in a different perspective for Chris because he's you know lived by himself, you know, not yeah. married or having kids or anything all of his life and now he's thrown in a wife who can be you know kind of crazy and you know i don't know stupid sometimes uh, and all this other stuff no, and then no and then you know and then you throw in the kids and the grandkids <laughs> every right time. right but well, I, I i think will, just oh go on go ahead well i was well, gonna i just I know will, what <laughs> We but always I step will, on each other. But I will say, I think, I, I'm not going to say that he had to compromise more than me. It's just differently. But for his life, he may have had to for him as an individual. But I think he's done wonderful, really. Just wonderful. Right. Thanks. Right. Yeah. Well, wonderful. The, and, and I just know from being Amy's friend for, what, 14 years now, there were a lot of times where she really didn't have a voice or couldn't use her voice and so when she became single that was something that was really important for her don't you agree and so that's when yeah. i said you want to be heard but i uh, honestly uh and again amy you can kind of 
jump in on this. Yeah. I, I haven't seen, you guys are so respectful to each other. And of course, everybody has disagreements, but I think you both know what the boundaries are when you have those discussions, yeah. right? It's yeah, and um, first. Yeah, I, I think one thing we're good about, I mean, we may, we know when each other is mad and we'll go off in our little corners and sulk for a little bit or whatever we may do. But um, Chris is really good about then coming and saying, hey, you know, we need to talk. And I tell you, that scares the pants off me. <laughs> oh, it scares the pants off me because I'm like, oh, because I think some of it, like you said, Lisa, brings me back to a past, like, yeah, wait a minute, like what? And if I'm that were before, it would have been Amy saying, oh, oh no, a big deal is coming and it's all, the decision's already been made and I can't do anything about it. That, that and, or, and I have just, to say yes. Yeah. Or it's, it's, it's that and so much more like, um, um, but I think that's part of my personality growing up too, that I never felt like I was doing anything right. So I, I overcompensate. I, 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 I still have that element of, um, of trying to be good, look good. I mean, I already know I'm good, but I don't know. It's a, it, it's a weird space, but I, I kind of freeze up when he says, we got to talk. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I, it took, um, a few relationships for me to to figure out um, how important it is to um, discuss something that that that's an issue. If you don't discuss it, a lot of times it's um, just misunderstanding. And if you don't discuss yes. it, it just keeps building, and and then will come out in unhealthy ways, or or completely ruin a relationship when and and the other person doesn't even have a. Uh, any clue as to why and and no option to fix it so it's taken me a while to wow. get here, you know I mean, very very but, wise words it's taken me a while to get here but um i think i'm actually now a lot better at it than amy which i'm not used to it's usually the other partner that's better at it, but i'm a lot better at amy when there's yes yeah. An elephant in the room. Let's address it. Let's talk about oh, it. Oh, because it, 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 I'm terrified. So yeah. it is 99% of the time, it is me that's sitting down and Wait saying we need to talk. Okay, I would say 99. It is. It is. I may be loud in a I different am, way. <laughs> I am still waiting uh -oh. for and express, you know, I mean, there have been times where I've expressed my views on something, and I'm still waiting for her to come back and tell me how she feels about that. <laughs> <laughs> and Amy, you you don't want to let him know because you disagree, or no? I think I I don't know why I I may not let him know. Um, I think it just I don't know scares me. Like I I feel like I like did something bad, something wrong, or I don't know. Maybe I don't have confidence in my own thoughts and opinions and um, viewpoint. I I I really don't know, but it it. It's, it's, yeah, it's a different space. Uh, I don't know. I, I think I, it, it scares me. So I think we're still um, working on that, the communicating part. One thing I got to give Amy credit for, I've never been the, the kind of person that uh, when I disagree with somebody, I don't get into screaming, yelling, yelling matches, and we don't do that. And thankfully, Amy doesn't do that either. And yeah. I've never been in a relationship where there's, you know, name calling. Um, I grew up in that and it's not healthy. And, and fortunately, uh, Amy doesn't do that either. That's I, don't awesome. know, I don't know what kind of fighting her and Matt did, but fortunately in our relationship, uh, when we do have a disagreement, um, there's, there's no screaming and yelling yeah. and there's no name calling. And, you know, oh. it's, um, like she said, if it's really tense, we'll just kind of go off in our separate corners until we can calm down and then come together and talk about it. Wow. Well, I think a lot of people say that's a good thing. You know, that's awesome advice. Yeah, you don't want everyone say, out there. You don't want to say mm -hmm. something that you regret, and um, right, and it's better yeah. that you just take a breath, you know. But you also I, don't I want to wait too too many days afterwards right. because then you forget why you even had. That. That's yeah. true. You want some resolution, right? Yeah. Something. But so there's Linda's, been some great comments on here, you know. Yeah, I've tried to post them. Linda said, "Need more men like Chris who will communicate and not go silent." Good job. Yeah. Well, I'm slow to the party, though. <laughs> <laughs> Took me a while to get here. I I needed more than one person oh. to tell me that. <laughs> and 
and some of you guys may not know too, is that, you know, Chris doesn't, and I probably don't express myself as well verbally either. I may do it more in the written format or something like that. But Amy is a lot better at writing than I am. Yeah. Chris doesn't express his feelings well either. Like our biggest thing that I, you know, wanted to instill in our relationship is, it, you know, if we have a harder time expressing it verbally, can you at least write it? So like either Valentine's card, Christmas card, birthday card, or an anytime card. Oh, look at, I've been married going on 42 years. Oh, where did it go? After a while, wanting your way goes away and you find that matters is love between. Anyway, um, you know, cards is, you know, we take the time to pick out the card that we want to share, but I just don't want like love Chris or I love you, Chris, or something. It's like, can you yeah. add to that message? Did this card help you add to the message? And so we both write a little message within the card because I don't know, it just, nice. it, it's just more thought. inspiring. Right. That, that's amazing. Here's another comment from Judy. Chris speaks with such respect about Amy. This is the key. Respecting each other goes a long way. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I, yeah. I think that's, and, and again, maybe having a fresh start, having both of you like Chris, not you know, being married before and you've been married, but you came together as a, a new couple and being in a more mature age group. Don't you think that's also helped your relationship as well as that you kind of know to pick your battles? Like, okay, maybe that's not as important to me anymore. Or maybe I can just compromise about this because at the end of the day, it doesn't, oh, I see some little, okay. Let's, no, let's talk about that. Your thing. I think that's one of the few advantages of being a senior citizen. <laughs> years, hey, I'm not that yet. <laughs> years of experience. I mean, yeah. you just, yeah, you just pick out those things of, uh, from years of experience and, and, you know, you, you have a different perspective on what's worth fighting for and what isn't, you know? Yes. And I agree. How to do it. Yeah. Well, as I mentioned before too, is I also think, you know, coming into this relationship together at our age, we're coming into it like the last third of our life. You know, the third was like growing up in our hometown, our families, our mom and dads and stuff like that. The other third was, you know, if you were raising a family, you got married, you're, you know, stressing about your job or, you know, doing things for your kids and, you know, all this other stuff. So coming into this, you know, Chris was, you know, maybe seeing, you know, would he ever find someone to ride into the sunset with? And I was kind of at that space too, would I ever? But if not, I would be okay because I've already had that. But yet yeah. it's nice to be able to have found someone to share life with. Right. Even the everyday mundane things like we come, I come home from work now and he's doing his stuff, you know, at home working at, you know, from the house here and, you know, things like that. We cook dinner, you know, we'll have a little conversation. Did you do the laundry? Did you do feed the daisy? You know, it's like just having someone just do the mundane things, but also, Hey, let's plan a trip. Why don't we go here right. for the weekend or see this local museum right. and we'll go get a drink or happy hour or date night. It's just kind of fun to, you know, have someone that, you know, you enjoy being yeah. with and that you love and, um, you know, things like yeah. that. I love it. I, I This uh, statement's pretty interesting. Not interesting, but I, I liked it. I pulled it out. Marriage workshops tell us that couples, um, as couples to know each other, to know how to respond, written verbally or what, uh, whatever the mate needs. So it's not always about our own needs, right? Yep. It's all it, it, we have to know what does Chris need if you're in some kind of an argument and uh, you know that some things are more sensitive to him than others. Then maybe there's something you need to do to make them feel better about it, or not just prove your point, right? Yeah, I, I like that statement. I no, and I agree. Like and that. I think that's what a relationship has to be, though, because it is about compromise. It's, you know, uh, Jaron Odge do a thing about 50, uh, beating 50 percent. It's about beating the rate of divorce. But and a lot of people say, well, I put in 50 percent. He puts in 50 percent. It's 100 percent. No, 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 no. 
You need to right. always try to do your best to put in a hundred percent. And the other person puts in a hundred percent, knowing that sometimes when you can't do it, that other person is willing to kind of fill that yeah. up, you know, yeah. do something, be there for you or help you or whatever it may be. Someone had done here. I can't remember if it was YouTube, Facebook or whatever. Does Chris intimidate me? Um, I saw that. No, no, Chris doesn't intimidate me. I think what intimidates me is probably myself, but I think it's also just, um, you know, just an element of everything that I've grown up with, just not feeling worthy enough, good enough. Um, Always breaks my whatever. heart to hear you talk. Like yeah. That. Whatever I'm. Or share your feelings. Of, though I know I'm capable, but I'm just so afraid, like, did, did someone find out that I'm not, or I, I don't know. It's it, like I said, it's, it, it's kind of a weird, weird thought process I have, but I think it'll probably be with me for the, till the day I die. But I, I, I feel like I'm much better, but it's, it, it, there's definitely still an element there. That in the back of your mind. Oh, well, yeah. this Chris, I'm going to ask Chris this question because you've answered this question yeah. numerous times, but I want to hear it from Chris. How did you guys meet? How did we meet? Well, we uh, met at a singles event. That I hosted with Deb. Right. Yep. But uh, a friend of mine uh, gave me a call and uh, said that, hey, there's a singles event going on and they need two more guys. And he says, it's five girls and five guys. I, go, well, I like those odds. You know, a lot of the guys <laughs> are going to. You know, it was two guys and a girl. So I thought, hey, I had an even shot at this. I said, yeah. And then he proceeded to tell me about Amy and the show. Uh, I'd never heard of the show before then and didn't know and anything that is about true. Amy. And um, and because he, he was preparing me that there might be cameras there that'd be filmed. And uh, so anyway, so I I went along with it because it was five guys and five girls. I mean, and it was a fun experience. It, it was, was good odds. Yeah, it was something new, <laughs> something different. And uh, yeah, it just um, it just it worked out great. Um, Amy and I didn't hit it off at that event. I think, I don't think I spoke more than a dozen words to yeah. her, just kind of high. A little See, bit I speak and, the truth, people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We didn't really connect. I actually connected with somebody else at that event, but another story. What? Oh, spill the tea. What? No. <laughs> and then they See, broke up really... a month later before my big swim yeah. party in August. Yeah, so I actually started dating somebody else that I uh, was. You did? I yep. did, yeah. And but, I'm speechless. But Amy had to decide to throw this pool party and invite a bunch of her friends, including everybody at this painting event. And uh, the person that I met at the painting event that I was dating um, cut it, broke it off like a week before Amy's pool party. Hallelujah. And I decided Hallelujah. to go anyway, which <laughs> she showed up with the guy that broke it off with it. But anyway, at the pool party, I was trying to apologize to Amy that I wasn't bit, I wouldn't be able to stay long, that I had to leave early because I was getting ready for a long motorcycle trip. We started talking about motorcycles. She talked about how she was on one one time, would like an, another ride. And so I offered to take her for a ride when I got back. And, um, you know, and and I met it. And it was, you know, as a friend, I invite people on rides. Um so as I was leaving, you know and I was, what he was getting himself into when I was leaving, I walk into the car. Um, that was a filmed event, a pool party. Well, the producer <laughs> of the show overheard our conversation and followed me out to the car and asked, he goes, um, were you serious about taking Amy on a ride? And I said, yeah. And then they go, can we be a part of that? Can we film that? And I, you know, I thought about oh, that'd be something new and different. And sure, no problem. A fun experience. Yeah. A and new then adventure. he goes, well, did you get her phone number? <laughs> no, I did <laughs> So I had to go back to the party <laughs> and ask Amy for her phone number. So if it hadn't have been for that producer, yeah. I don't know yeah. that we would still yeah. be sitting here. Yeah. Good old Patrick. Because Good old Patrick. Path, yeah, our uh, paths were, you know, very different in our um, social, you know, gather obviously I'm a parent, I'm a grandmother school, you know, all this other yeah. stuff. And, you know, he led, you know, kind of a different life and everything. And um, so literally, if it wasn't for the producer coming out there, and asking that, well, I don't think. Well, yeah. I I was at that party, and I have an. You're at all my parties. I, 
I I want to I want to ask you a question, Chris. So there was one person at the paint party that was really kind of heavily pursuing Amy at oh, the time. I don't know about pursuing. They never went out. No, he was very interested. She didn't go out with him, but he definitely wanted to make oh. that happen. And at the party, the pool party, Bob would dance with her. And then as soon as she stopped dancing, you would come over and talk to her. So mm -hmm. I think you were a little intrigued with her at the pool party. Am I correct? Chris was always in the background. He is very much. In yeah, I, I'm asking Chris. I'm asking Chris, what were you thinking then? What, I mean, it wasn't just. Oh, sure. I'll take her for a motorcycle ride. You, the wheels were kind of turning at that party, don't you yeah, think? Yeah, I don't think so. No, not in that direction. I know what you're saying, but no, when when mm -hmm. when I invited her on the ride, it was really just to take her on a ride. I didn't have any romantic intentions. Oh, shot. Until, you know, I did get her phone number. Preparing for that ride, um, I, I did have to call Amy and I asked her a few questions. Well, we started talking on the phone, so it was a week or two weeks from mm -hmm. the time that I left that party. I had one of my thing yeah. come back uh, before we did the ride together, and we had a few conversations on the phone, and we talked for at least two hours every time. Yeah, and he, he was and just across town. Uh, and that's important for me to have somebody that I can have long conversations with. And so after I got to know her Aww. better over the phone, just her and I, no one else, by the time we did go on the ride, then I was thinking maybe, Ew. you know, then it was like, well, maybe. And then we just hit it off so well on the ride that uh, I even got to know her better. And and she seemed to love it as much as I did. And um, without us ever having a formal discussion about being exclusive or whatever, it just naturally progressed from there. And it just so happened that she was the last person to ride on a ride behind me on the motorcycle no one else no other woman has uh been well, on have the you bike. had a lot of women ride on the back of your another question <laughs> don't answer that don't answer that question because i learned something today too from that paint party that i didn't know about interesting right. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay let's go Got on it. to the next question uh how are family life interactions with the grands and Chris? Uh, Amy, what's your observation with the grandkids and with Chris? How, how is that relationship going? You know, I think the one thing I really appreciated, I did not like, I didn't like push Chris, like these are my kids, you know, you got to like them or, you know, whatever, get along with them. But I also did not, you know, I, I gave the kids space in that realm because I've never been through divorce. I don't know what adult kids think or go through and all that stuff. But I think gradually, not too long, but I think gradually, you know, he got to know my kids and had good conversations with them. My kids, you know, got to know Chris a little bit more and, you know, really liked them. And then, you know, you bring in the kids because he was here since all of them have been born. You know, he's been oh. here for every single grandchild mm -hmm. that's been born. So that's it's awesome. Like, so it's kind of like, you know, we experience, they don't call him grandpa or anything. They just call him Chris. I, you preferred that, right? Yeah, I didn't come up with my own nickname or anything like that. Uh, no, Chris is fine. Yeah. Yeah. And so. Um, and none of the kids call me dad. No. <laughs> no. No. And, no. And so um, I was really appreciative how just naturally it happened because I would rather prefer it that way instead of having my kids feel like they're obligated or having Chris, feel, not that he would, but having Chris feel like he's got to, you know, do some. But I, I, we all get along. I, I, well, you answer for the grandkids, but does it get chaotic when the grandkids come over and he just puts his headphones on and does his own thing? But he'll interact with them a little bit. I think he'll do, a, you know, like most guys probably interact with them a little bit more the older they get. But, you know, you, you like all my grandkids and my kids, right? Oh, yeah, I yeah. do. I just, um, I've never had kids of my own, so I don't know how to relate to little kids very well. And when they come over, they're here to see Mimi. So there's really not much interaction between them. And, oh. and, and not because I'm avoiding it, just because... 
Yeah. Them and me, we, we don't know how to interact with each other. <laughs> you know, it's, you know, it, it, there's. I think you just naturally let it happen because even kids all have their own personalities. So yeah. you might have 10 grandkids and maybe you're closer to some more than others because they just have different personalities. And I think um, someone says, Holly Cruz says, Jackson likes you. That's a cute. Well, cool, well what I've learned is mention. that they all seem to have very short attention spans. So just when I think I'm <laughs> connecting with one of them, they see a squirrel and they're off. You know? and, just, and it's the same with Jackson and everyone else. Every once in a while, Jackson and I will really connect with the fish or something, but it doesn't take long and he's yeah. lost interest and he's off to something yeah. He's else. moved on. He's yeah. moved on. Yeah. Well, I think that's awesome. And wasn't there a scene where you put together a bike or something for one of the kids? Well, I actually brought, uh, I actually picked up a bike uh, for Jackson for his uh, two year. Second, no, third, probably three third, or four. Third, third, three or four, third birthday fourth, or something. Third, yeah. So. yeah, yeah. So I picked that up. But unfortunately, where they live now, uh, they've got a very long gravel driveway and it's not oh. really set up for bikes. So, but it was good for him. I for don't a know while. the last time he was on it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I don't know either. And that's the thing yeah. when you live out, the country, out in the country, you don't have that much uh, opportunity to learn yeah. how to do a bike until you're a little bit older. Cause then you get those rough, you know, tougher bikes to ride on the gravel and, mm -hmm. you know, through the countryside and stuff like that. So I think every kid should learn how to ride a bike though. Yes, I think so too. I, okay. I'm going to switch gears here a little bit and Ooh. maybe ask a a tough question, but I'm sure you guys can handle it. Uh, so one person from our audience had asked, how do you feel sharing time with Matt and Karen while filming? Um, I think, you know, for me, I think Chris had an easier time with that because obviously history isn't quite there. I, I, I probably had more of a difficult time and challenge with that because of my history with it all. And, um, and, and stuff like that. So, you know, it's eventually become, this is what I do. This is a job, uh, but we do it real. We do it honest. I, I hope I portrayed that, you know, I wasn't fake. I wasn't pretending. Um, but I also know, you know, I learned a lot from my dad, you know, from, as, God, I say, you know a lot, don't I? That's horrible. I learned a lot from my dad when they didn't particularly care for like, you know, my, you know, sister's boyfriends or husbands or, you know, whatever it was, you still need to show respect. You still need to show, you know, that kind of conversation or something like that. And the other thing as time has gone on, you know, I definitely had that wall up since 2013 when, or late 13, 14, when he asked to be separated you know, the wall goes up, you know, if I have a issue like communicating to Chris, sometimes I'm like, Oh dear, it's the big D yes. going to come with it. Um, oh, oh. Uh, so, you know, I definitely had a wall built up. I, I was very careful and everything, but the thing is, who is the wall really benefiting? Is it benefiting right. me? Because if the other person really doesn't care or, you know, any, anything like that, um, then you're really hurting yourself. So I had to find a way to kind of bring that wall down and really tell myself, you know, at least I've mentioned this before, you know, he's still the father of my kids. He's still the grandfather yes. of my grandchildren. And I want to be able to be in a room with them. I really want to have, you know, a, a, a fairly good time. I don't want my kids to feel like, oh, do we invite mom or do we invite dad? You know, blah, blah. I don't want them to have to deal with that. And I think Chris really helped with that too, because, you know, he, he's a little bit easier of sweeping that away than I am because, <laughs> you know, but yeah. uh, Matt and Karen and Chris and I, we, we get along well. Yeah, time, you know, that old adage, time heals. I've seen it um, uh, with Amy that has changed a lot in in the time that I've known her that uh, now we can actually get together with Matt and Karen and, and have a good, you know, a good time, talk about a lot of different things and laugh. And uh, in fact, we were just over there last weekend. 
Um, oh, and, that was my next question. Yeah, Do you socialize we, we outside? Of this dragged me along. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, Matt wanted to talk about some stuff, and so we went over for happy hour. We had drinks, and and Karen uh, fixed up some good appetizers, and some. Uh, we ended up having dinner there and had a good conversation. And um, yeah, I'm glad that we can do that. I enjoy their company. And, um, you know, I think the four of us really get along well now. Well, I think. Um, we no, no, we, we, sorry, I was reading a comment from someone. Um, yeah. We, we, we do get along well. Um, I was reading a comment because someone was referring to your size and being a bigger guy and everything. Um, I think, um, no, we, we do get along, but I think also we know not to go in certain areas because it's just not a healthy, good thing. Mm -hmm. And I mm -hmm. think, um, you know, to, to, to just be able to have a conversation with my ex and, you know, his fiance that, you know, I've known for a while, um, you know, at moments it's still tough for me, but it, it, again, I, I just keep going back who, who, you know, what are you going to do, Amy? Like, it's done. Right. I found a great guy. I'm married to a wonderful man. And, uh, you know, embrace that and have joy in that. Relish in that. Instead right. of, um, you know. So it sounds that. like you're cordial. You guys, I mean, you don't socialize all the time, right? It's just no. once in a while things yeah, go yeah, and yeah. talk about I mean, kids and. And who knows, we may do a few things together and stuff like that, but we'll, we'll all have an understanding of what that means. You know what I mean? And if that's the case, okay, you know, we'll do it. Yeah. And, well, you know, and Matt, you know, he, whenever we're over there at the farm for whatever reason, I mean, you know, to see when it get, you know, if, if they're home, he'll invite us to stop by for a drink mm -hmm. or something. And, you know, and occasionally we do, but it's, uh, yeah, I, I think yeah. we're getting to a very healthy place that, you know, that we can. We had a Christmas open house, invited Matt uh, to come join us for that. And uh, something came up and he wasn't able to, but he had plan he was planning on it. So See, I mean, if you look at Amy's body language right now and what she just did, I have a question but, from the audience. Why is it tough for you, Amy? But, but, but I was okay with it because that, that's the thing with, um, you know, if, if Chris asked me, and I would have said, absolutely not. We are not doing that. Then it, you know, wouldn't have happened. But I, I oh, what, what is happening here? Why did it go away? What, the TikTok? Because you're not plugged in. <gasps> she disconnected. You didn't plug your phone in. Didn't you say the battery was low? Yeah, I did. But where's well, my it's, plug? It's not plugged in. What? It's over there. Can, can you go get it? Sorry, guys. So, so while Chris, yeah. Why didn't I do that? Oh my gosh. It's idiot. okay. No, you're not. So her TikTok, uh, the phone with the TikTok uh, video going. Well, I have to go uh, the back. Battery on. just ran dead. We will go on for a few more minutes because I have to get back on. Okay. Anyway, yeah. uh, Terry. So my yeah. What, why was it? Said, why, why is, is it tough for you, Amy? It's. It, it, it's tough for me because it's been a part of my life. It's, yeah, is it average size people? Absolutely. But I think it's also been part of uh, little people as well. I, I just never felt like I measured up no matter what I did, what I said, or how much I accomplished or anything. It just, to Matt, this is regarding Matt. You yeah. Guys socialize well, maybe Matt. that too, because as we all know, Matt, Matt's, Matt's got a lot of great ideas. I mean, he's, he, he really does. But at the time I never felt like I had any value or he listened or my input wasn't worthy enough because his ideas superseded all of that. And I don't know, after a while you, you know, you just think of yourself as being less than and and, um, you know, Chris has a lot of great ideas. I mean, I think Chris has really helped me personally um, in the sense that, you know, he gets along with Matt. <laughs> and, um, and so I'm like, you know, but that was back then. And as time has gone on, we both, I have been able to be okay 
you know, be okay with some of the things that has gone on that I didn't appreciate or like, or the hurt or the sadness or the sorrow. I mean, to me, divorce was hard. It's, yeah. It was not yeah. a happy place for me at well, all. It's, li it's like a death. It's it's like a it's death. A living death. I call it a living yeah. death because something yes. died. And yeah. Yeah. But you're still living. Well, and kind of going back to that one statement, it's kind of like sometimes you have to look to see what your partner needs. And um, even though you can get through and have those socializations or with people that have hurt you in the past or hurt you so deeply, it's always good to kind of reflect that, oh, there's a reason why Amy might hesitate not wanting to do something. Or when she points at you and said, you're the one that wanted Matt to come over, right? It's because she's reflecting on the times that she was hurt. So I yeah. understand where she's coming from. It'll never be a hundred percent. Hey, let's call Matt and Karen up and go out to dinner and hang out because there's just, there's still a part of hurtful hurt or rawness there that may never fully go away. But I, but I also though, to that, adding to that, it can get there and we've come yes. along or I should say, I have come a long way that, uh, like Chris said, we were just over there the other night and it was a good time. We had good conversation and, you know, we were talking about, you know, other things that we may do, you know, together and stuff like that. But, you know, as those things, if they even progress, if they do progress, um, you know, I, I will definitely pay attention. It, you know, like I all, well, I try to do it, it's, it needs to work for me, but it also needs to work for both Chris and I as well to, to be successful at anything. But uh, again, it's their family. I mean, whether yeah. I like it, you know, whether exactly. it's or not, exactly. they're still part of family. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's, let's kind of shift out of that and ask some other questions. I have a good one. Do you travel well together? And I'm going to ask Chris that question. Yeah, we do travel very well together. It, um, you know, every year go on a long motorcycle ride. And so um, that's about as close to traveling as you can do. You know, <laughs> because I would say we're so together, together 24 yeah. seven <laughs> and just inches apart. And, um, and yeah, we do get, uh, you know, we do travel well together. It's, uh, it's one of the big pluses. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. No complaints. Because I don't need to, you know, just because a lot of people think just because I've been on TV and all this other stuff, I don't need posh stuff. I really don't. Um, some of the places that Chris has picked on our motorcycle rides of like, could we step it up just slightly? I'm just used slightly? to travel. I'm used to traveling on a budget. So yeah, we've stayed in a few places that Amy would <laughs> probably questionable. You know, She's called me a few times. Look at this. Okay. Uh, well, one of the things that I that I love about Amy is that she's not a prima donna, and no. um, and uh, she's not afraid to get her hands dirty, and she's, she's not judgmental about no. anybody's class or station or environment, and um, yep. you know, and and well, and and that's why we connect. I, I mean, I, I feel like I'm the same way, mm -hmm. and. Um, uh, because if she was such a person, we wouldn't have connected. Yeah. We, 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 we wouldn't be together. So, right. um, you know, and, and when you're, when you're traveling by motorcycle and you're, and you're going through um, all different areas, it's, um, you know, you have to be adaptable and, and appreciate the environment and the, and, and the people for who they are and where they're at and, yeah. and not judge. And, um, you know, so, we yeah. do great that way. I think now, so. We're about to go on a new experience that's going to be out of my element. Which is what? New oh. York. Oh, it, oh, that's very oh. much out of my element. Oh, we don't have to tell people that. Yeah. Why not? I don't know oh. if I'm allowed to. Oh, we can, we can tell them about um, it. Well, we have a, uh, just a short little trip to New York uh, to do some PR for, because uh, uh, Little People Big World will, uh, the new season, season 25, will air. Um, February 20th, February, 20th. February, yes. February 20th. And so we've been, well, I've been asked, but I wanted Chris to come along and who knows, 
but we've been asked to um, go to New York. So it's a short trip. It's a hop there and a hop back. We fly in one day, we do that the next day, and we fly back the next day. Of course, I would love to spend a few more days in New York because, you know, just because. It's an awesome but place. Anyway. It's a totally different environment. So, Chris, you should have a lot of fun there just seeing. I mean, it's just such a different landscape, right? I, like you know, I'm looking forward to just, but it's in February. just being a new experience. Is yeah. all. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I never want to live could, in a big city. It's not some, probably not a place I'll ever go back to again, but uh, I want to do it once just for the experience of it, just to see it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And there might be snow on the ground. There could be congestion. Yeah. There could be traffic delays. It's just. But it's also a trip it's that we're not. Exactly hustle and bustle. Planning. Yeah, it's, exa it's not a trip we're exactly planning ourselves. It's, um, you know, obviously planned by, you know, uh, to promote the show and everything. So, yes. um, but no, I, I wanted to cool. come along with me and I had asked, you know, for him to do that. And he said yes. I was surprised she asked me before she asked you, Lisa. Or maybe she already asked you. I don't I don't know. I told no, you. no, no. I, I, I had to ask Chris. <laughs> I totally respect that. As uh, you know, as good of friends as we are, our spouses come first. I yeah. mean, would we have gotten into some trouble, probably, yeah. and some fun? <laughs> but I totally get it. And maybe some other time we'll take a trip, a couple's trip. Oh yeah, and then you. Four of us go do something. Yeah. That'd be, well, you guys yeah. need to come down to Cabo. That's definitely, well, but no, she definitely asked you first. She didn't ask me. And that was just fine because that's I told her, mutual though, because I respect. Knew she out about the trip. I yeah. said, Lisa, you know, I, I, I needed, I wanted to ask Chris first to see if he was even interested. Absolutely. If he wasn't, it would have been her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm number two. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the backup. If you decide not to go, Chris, I'll be on that airplane yeah. just to let you know. <laughs> well, this will probably be a one-time thing. Next time she goes to Nor uh, New York, you and Deb go with her. And yeah. Keep her on the straight and narrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, well, that, that, that's... Lisa's that, the protector. Uh, <laughs> that's true. I wouldn't let anything happen to Amy. <laughs> She's the protector. So... So that's kind of the next uh, question I have is you have an, your next big trip you're planning for well, this year, leaving the country. Yeah. One of our trips is that uh, my nephew is, and is his fiance are getting married in Ireland. I've been to Ireland and uh, to Belfast because that's where um, the DAAA World Dwarf Games were uh, held a number of years back. I think back in 2008, 2009. And that, that, that was when we were still doing TV. But the whole point being is uh, my nephew's getting married. They, they're renting a castle. That's where they're getting married at. And I said, Chris, it doesn't matter whether we have money or time or not. We are going because we get to stay in a castle. So Ireland, we are coming to see you. We will so be- So exciting. We, yeah, we fly into Dublin. We'll be like an hour and a half, two hours, just slightly north. But I think we're actually in Northern Ireland, like the part that's part of the UK, Northern Ireland. So any of you Ireland individuals, let me know, should we go to Belfast and to North Coast or should we go to Galloway and see all of that? I need to know. Oh, okay. Yeah. After we leave the, oh. the Jameson distillery, which, oh, which way do we yeah. go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you might need to stay there for a while. <laughs> what is this question? Uh, Favorite dish Chris this is, asked you to make for dinner? Yeah. Have you ever made me? Uh, no. To, Favorite dinner. dish Chris no, asked. No. What, what have I asked you to make me? Yeah. Uh, oh, Chris asked you to make for dinner. Yeah. I yeah. rarely ask her to make anything specific. She, um, um, it's, it's usually what she's in the mood for and what, and, and, uh, I mean, she runs it by me. Sometimes she gives me a choice, but and I hardly ever, you know, ask you, would you just make have this? no vegetables? Uh oh. Occasionally uh -oh. I ask her to get tater tots because she doesn't buy those unless <laughs> I have. Speaking of tater tots, here's a good question. 
Chris, will you be cooking some meals for Amy this year? And what would you like to cook Amy for dinner? Amy doesn't really um, want me to, oh, to you make can't, dinner. No. No, 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 you can't go there. No. Nope. What every, would you just every time I go into the kitchen, I start messing around. She goes, you know, this is my area. This is my domain. I thought we had an agreement on that. Okay. Can we talk oh. about the one dish you made for poker? Why? Because I gave you a little bit of input, but you were following someone else's recipe. Oh, are we going to spill the tea on that? Okay, yeah. Chris. Oh. I, I and, really yeah, don't let's... need to share that. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. We all want to know. Well, so you don't have to I, name uh, names. I've got a poker group, uh, uh, guys that I've been playing uh, cards with for 38 years. And uh, we play once a month and everybody takes turns hosting. And when you host, then you provide the dinner. And it's kind of become a badge of honor to actually make something rather than just order a pizza. Back in the old days, it used to be pizza. But now, you know, I try to... So I try to step it up and uh, uh, to make things convenient. I was trying to do a, a jambalaya I found in a, in a crock pot or slow cooker cookbook. I didn't know that Amy had a recipe in her cookbook. Really? Anyway, no, I haven't read the cookbook. I didn't know. Well, you did the cooking. Why I made I need it to for you, though. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> it wasn't very good. And so, yeah, for days later, should have followed my cookbook. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Sure and and that there, recipe so. was from somebody else from the past. Is that can yeah. I safely yeah. say that? Not from the past. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, was it from someone else what? from the past? J J the jambalaya? No, no it, was it was from a cookbook. Right oh. yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was. Oh, from somebody else's. Okay, yeah. sorry. Not trying to start anything. Nope, no, no. Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Troublemaker. Yeah. Okay. I'm no, I, I razzed him for a few days because I'm like, really. So, really? so when I first started dating Amy, I tried to be helpful and come into the kitchen and, you know, kind of be like a sous chef, but yeah. um, also, you know, kind of liking to do things my own way. You know, I mean, she might give me a task and I'll do it my way. And she goes, well, I already did that. Oh, you know, no, 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 it's no, no. Just better for me to just stay away and let her do follow it. Follow the directions. But follow the directions. To make a meal for me. That would be my tell tell or whatever to stay out of the question just out of the kitchen just ignore it amy just ignore it just let him do his thing and see what yes. you come up with so it actually i i really prefer the arrangement we have now <laughs> so when we're at home she cooks and she does a great job and then when we go out for the we, most part we go out every weekend at least one day sometimes two nights and then it's on me yeah yeah. Oh. You also clean up. Chris, and Chris, I clean up after yeah. every meal. No, Chris, yeah, Chris is wonderful awesome. about that because I, I, you know, I have a lot of stuff. And when I cook. She's a messy cook. I am not a messy you. cook. I, I'm, I'm I think, doing, but I no, think I'm the audience. Cooking, doing cooking videos that you got to have a dish for every little thing. And, yeah. you know. And, She's a messy cook. You know what? But I think everybody on here would love to see a one-time challenge of Chris making dinner for Amy. Don't you all agree? I think that would be fun. So yeah, Chris, just think be about as good that. As if she did it herself, though. I mean, no, you know, but you know, Amy will be out of the kitchen from you, right? It's from you, it's a just thoughtful like, thing. He has bought me a couple of earrings that I still have, and um, and um but not these no not these <laughs> but um does this have to do earrings and cooking what what are we talking because, about here but you know i told him though i said but i don't have earrings from you he goes oh you have way too many earrings i said yes that's true you I, do have to, way too many well talk about all the women who have way too many shoes okay. <laughs> same thing you have earrings yeah. but i hear what I she's like saying that. she wanted them from you so I think that we, yep, see everybody's saying yes, Bunny's on. Oh, I wonder if that's Bunny, our friend Bunny. Yeah, oh, Sunny, know. sorry. But yes, look at all the people. Danielle, that would be cool. All right, so I think that would be a, a 2024 cooking challenge that Chris Ooh, would yeah. just make a meal for Amy. And Amy, you have to promise to stay out of the kitchen. 
You can't yeah. say a word. You can't suggest anything. It has to come completely from Chris. And I'll say it cannot include tater tots. <laughs> But that's my go-to. No, no, it cannot. Unless he's making a breakfast, you know, because we often no, sometimes have no breakfast tater tots. No tater tots. Okay. All right. Everybody wants to potato see potato is his vegetable. That's right. I know. Tater but tots, tater my tater favorite tots. vegetable. And check off the tater tots. Okay, let's ask a few more questions because we're already over yes. an hour. I can't believe this. Really? Well, we should probably um. We should it probably fast. code out and then we'll still, you know, answer a few questions and okay. if anyone let's, has any. Let's, yes, um, we have tons of questions. Someone said, yes, let the man use tater tots. All right, Kelly. No, Thank I'm going to, I'm going to be firm on that. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not alone. <laughs> but you know no. what? If I allow him to use tater tots on this first try or effort, then the next time, It'll encourage him to do something else. Okay. Boomer Babe says, love you all. Lots of love from Eugene. No tater tots. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we are at that hour mark, a little bit over. So yeah. we are going to give the code so for the- We're ready to um, get the code. I'm not sure if you can hear Chris or not, or uh, Lisa or not, but anyway- Okay, so four lucky winners, one from Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, will receive Amy's book, A Little Me. And so the code for, for you to participate is just type in Happy New Year. So the code so, is going to be so the code is going to be Happy New Year to one person from TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. We'll get a copy of my book, A Little Me. I only have a few more copies left, so they're running yeah. out. So go ahead and type it in. We're going to keep talking. And in a few minutes, we'll have somebody from our producer's uh, area to pick the winners. And we'll announce them. And then we'll let you know what to do when, if your name's been called. So, so I want to ask comment, a couple. Yeah. In the comment section, do Happy New Year. Yes. Okay, let's let's have some real talk. Okay. Blending worlds, blending world worlds together. How do you handle the height difference? Oh yeah, we did get that one question. I, I, you know, I've told people a lot of times the height difference. I mean, I think I probably worried about it a whole lot more than maybe he did because I'm like, oh my god, do you really know what you're getting yourself into? Um, but, you know, Chris is very good at, you know, he'll just either bend down, rest his hands a little bit on my shoulder and look me in the face or kiss me or give me a hug. But he'll often sit in a chair so that I could just come right up to him and, you know, we'll either talk or, you know, give each other a hug or Chris kiss or something like that. Or occasionally I'll sometimes step on my stool and say, OK, come here. You know. Yeah, somebody asked a question earlier uh, whether uh, if Amy was intimidated by me, and I really try hard to not let that happen. And so I try to go down to her rather than her have to stand on something to it's come up to me. For him to because I, you know, I I want yeah. her to feel and yeah. know that we're we're on the same level. Yeah, I'm just a little taller, but we're on the same <laughs> level, and. Uh, yeah. So, I loved your wedding when you had your vows and you built that little stool yeah. for her. Oh. I thought that was beautiful because I think it is important to have that eye contact, right? Mm -hmm. And and to be able to, when you communicate, and um, I thought that was really impressive that you did that, Chris. That oh, was amazing. Well, yeah. I think the other yeah. thing is too is that, you know, being a little person, um, I mean, I'm used to like kind of adapting to my environmental surroundings, whether it be my house or, you know, just anywhere like teaching, um, you know, I bring my own stool because I'm not going to, you know, why should the teacher have to worry about that if I'm subbing for a teacher, but I bring my own stool and, you know, some supplies and, and stuff like that. But like with Chris, it's like, I can't expect him to constantly hundred percent always adapt. So yes, the only thing I really can do for Chris, though, is um, we didn't lower everything in this house. 
even though I would have loved, because we've been in this house a lot longer than I would have thought. The next house we're going to, though. But the master bathroom, oh. I don't need it low, low. I just need it average, not the higher. Yours are extra high. Yeah, yeah because your the cabinetry, master, yeah, it's your cabinetry is like extra tall. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, but we decided not to do it because we weren't anticipating being in this house as long as mm -hmm. we have been, right? Right. Yeah. Well, and we're How still going to find another house. This isn't our yeah. forever home. But on the next home, I'm hoping that uh, we can build a kitchen that will be more Amy friendly so that we don't have a half a dozen stools <laughs> he doesn't all like over the, the kitchen so that she can get up that to the countertop. trip over. I'd rather lower the countertop. But would you be will willing to bend down and use the faucet and everything Absolutely. else? No problem. Absolutely. Hmm. It's a lot easier for me to just bend over than for you to have to move a stool around everywhere you well, go. I'm okay with moving a stool because I'm so used to it. Well, it'd be nice. Oh. Probably. He's trying to be accommodating. Accept okay. it, Amy. Take in, in it. In February. It. Well, the one thing I do appreciate, Chris, that he was very insistent on um, the island, you know, that we definitely lower that. I mean, I wanted to lower it, but he goes, no, absolutely. We're lowering that. And when I do my cooking videos, I as you guys, it. yeah, as you guys all see, oh, you know, that's, you know, the island that I cook off of. And uh, because that is my main workspace you know, everything, but That's I was going awesome. somewhere with this and I can't yeah. remember now. But back to your question, as far as the height difference, um, it was an adjustment for me when we first started dating. And one of the big adjustments was um, going out in public because there was such a dramatic height difference yeah. between the two of us got a lot of attention. And so was that, that new to you? Like, was that an adjustment? Well, having people look at me? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was new to me. I'm not used to a bunch of strangers looking in my direction like, oh, huh, what's what's up with that couple? So, yeah, that took, yeah, a, yeah. That, that took a little getting used to. But see, for me, though, that was constantly on my mind when we first like met and everything. And when he right. asked and his motorcycle ride, like I've mentioned before, yeah. I said yes, because I knew what a motorcycle was. Like I knew how I could fit on and I knew what my legs would do and everything. So I said, yes, because I said, yes, it's like, you don't have to think about anything. Just put me on there and I'm, I'm good. But he went above and beyond that whole thing. Yes. And that so, was amazing. but when we went out in public, I, I worried about that a lot because I remember my friend in college who I was more worried about people looking at me like, okay, here she is, you know, blah, 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 all the comments and all this other stuff. And then, um, but I was trying to say like, gosh, how can I make this easier for him without having this full blown conversation? How do you feel? You know, but eventually I did ask you like, how do you feel? Like, wh what do your friends think? Like, have they not convinced you not to go through this whole thing? That that's a good question, Chris. What what is your comment on that? His family, his friends, is everybody. I never yeah. had a, a single friend or family member um, say, "What what are you doing? What are you thinking?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Um, when that shocks me. Uh, you know, everyone that I know and and love and respect that has met Amy. Um, uh, has all agreed that we're a great couple and have been very happy and supportive. Because I've That's awesome. made a difference in his life. Yes, you have. For yes, the, you have. I can say yes. And he's made a difference in mine too. For both of you. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, I have a couple more questions and then we're going to- Then we got to get to the giveaway. It's Happy yes. New Year. Yep, yep. So how about lifestyle? Lifestyles. Amy had mentioned- like everyday stuff. Amy kind of likes to leave things out and you like to be neat. Yeah. How does that work, Chris? We're still working on yeah. that. Yeah. I well, I I I after you know what, three years, several years. Um, I thought I would think my office is like three quarters. It's not quite there, right? Yeah. You don't think we three quarters? <laughs> It's been a week. <laughs> you know. Is it starting to grow again or is it staying same the same? <laughs> but right now at this moment, I think I've done a pretty good job. 
Yes, you have. You, you, you've done more recently than you have the entire time I've known you. Well, that's what I said. I, I know. Yes, I, I saw when I, at the holiday. Yes, at the holiday party, I'm like, wow, Amy's really working on stuff. And mm -hmm. I, and again, that's because she's motivated by you, Chris. That that's doesn't matter to you. him. Yeah, yeah. So, well, the other area I've got to really work on is my pantry. Ugh. Yeah. yeah, that's just a thing, you know, maintenance thing. Every couple, every quarter, just do one part of the shelves and take out things that are expired. And because, yeah. From well, to me, no, it's it's all the stuff because you know how I used to do so much entertaining and the foundation and brought people here and just all. You mean all your dishes and yeah, things like and serving dishes. And, yes. Yeah, yes. it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's talk about our winners. We are going to announce those now. Um, Naveed, do you want to post on the screen our winners and give me just a second to uh, to uh, write them down? So we have Darla. Well, why we do? Oh, sorry. Go on. Read it again. At least I'll let you read it, Amy, and oh, while I write it down. Okay. Because it's small. Da Go ahead. Darla Clark Z Zemet. Zemet? Zemet. Zemet from Facebook. Darla Clark Zemet from Facebook. Okay. YouTube, Casey Lutz. YouTube, Casey Lutz. Okay. Hopefully you're all still on. From IG Marie. It's M Byte 6. M Byte 6. So Marie, IG, M Byte 6. And then TikTok, TikTok, you're up. Jana Lauren. Yeah, Jana Lauren. Jana Lauren 364. Jana Lauren from TikTok. You guys will all receive a autographed book of um, a little me that I wrote. Yes. Oh. And how are they going to get that book? So, if your name was called. Go ahead. Darla Zemet from Facebook. Um, okay, winners, you need to email arlittlekitchen at gmail.com because we didn't have a couple of people email, and so we don't know who to send it to. So email arlittlekitchen at gmail.com so that Lisa can get your address, your info, and stuff like that. And so. order your book. And here's one right now. Cassie, thank you so much. I'm excited mm -hmm. to read your book. So she's one of our winners. Awesome. Oh, good, good. Thank you, Cassie. Yeah. Thank yes. You. Yes. Well, so, I just all want you to think about your happy new year and think about goals that you want to see and work towards um, resolutions. A lot of people give up on that because if they didn't meet them, they just throw it out the window, but don't, no, 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 no. Uh, don't do that. Keep working towards it. A goal is, you know, a moving, living, breathing thing, but you have to really, you know, try and make an effort to reach them. Right. I love that. Yep, yeah, I I agree. Don't give I up. Agree. Don't give up. Don't give up. So do we want to answer just a few more questions or are we ready to kind of close? We'll answer out? a few more me. questions. And so hopefully everyone who won knows, but thank you all for being a part of this live. Thank you, babe. Thank you for being here. Yes. It's a way I to really appreciate bring it. out the happy new year 2024. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for that. All right. And Chris, do you have anything you want to ask us? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably wondering what's for dinner. Leftover yeah. spaghetti. Yeah. Ooh, that is what's for dinner? Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, just to remind you, awesome. as we talk about dinner, my Eat, Love, Gather cookbook, Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen cookbook, is available on Amazon. We just showed you the barcode here. For YouTube, Facebook, and IG, but TikTok, go to Amazon and check out my yes. cookbook. Yes, and it's a uh, hardcover, soft cover, and an ebook. So there's different ways to purchase that. And uh, we're really excited about that. Um, working on some new stuff for 2024. We'll have new uh, winter fudge flavors coming out in the next few weeks. So look for that as well. Coming um, from Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then I was just going to say, um, 
dreams of uh, more travel planning for retirement. Uh, let's talk about that for for a minute. What are you guys thinking for retirement? Are you, I know you're saying a big, a different property. What are some things you, you're looking forward to or wanting to work towards in the next like four or five years just to get things rolling? Well, Amy's not ready to retire. Yes. She's now, um, you know, substitute teaching. So she's going to do that for that would be more years. early retirement. Yeah. Though. So, um, but you know, we're, we still plan on doing a, a long motorcycle trip somewhere each year. And, uh, this year we're going to ride to Colorado. Amy has a brother that lives oh. outside of Boulder that, uh, never, never gone down there. So we're going to take the, the long scenic route, uh, down to Boulder and back. Um, that'll be our big ride this year. Looking yeah. forward to that. Um, awesome. there's, there's a lot in this country that, um, that I, we'd like to see. Um, yeah, we don't feel the need to always have to go, except to visit you in Cabo, Lisa. Yeah. Uh, yes, you have to come down. To, like go like overseas yeah. and, and all that stuff. I mean, I don't think we'll have the budget for it anyway. But like Chris said, I think there's just so much we want to experience together seeing the what the national parks and just mm -hmm. areas around here like um i would love to one day take the route two that goes across the northern part of our country down through the up upper peninsula of michigan you know and do that kind of do the trip that my daughter did when she graduated and passed her cpa exam um but anyway oh. There's just so many other trips that, you know, short trips, weekend trips, longer trips that we would just like to do. I think we're both a big fan of just having a home base and going from there. I don't think we need two houses. That's too much work for me. to think. Right now. Right. Right. No. Well, but, and kind of mentioning that, um, talking about, uh, you know, your travel and, and going different places. It sounds like from what you guys are both doing right now is you're kind of preparing the show at this point has no additional, you're not filming anything additional. Correct? We are not currently filming right now. No, the season that's coming out February 20th is season 25. So I hope you guys all watch it and just, we might do some snippets Chris and I, and who else, who knows who else, we might do some snippets as to, um, you know, adding on to that, you know, like, well, this is really what happened, not what's really happened, what was not shown on the cat, like you and I have done in the past, like what, mm -hmm. has not, what, what wasn't shown in the episode that gives a more broader, fuller part of that story. Yeah, Art, uh, we finished filming uh, towards the end of July. That was August. Uh, I thought it was August. No, no we did interviews in August, uh -oh. but the, the filming ended in July. So, and it sounds like, I mean, that you guys are preparing for having a life without TV. Yes, that's kind of weird for me. Yeah. Weird for you. Is that weird for you, Chris? No, that's normal for me. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. So, that is true. So you're okay either 2004. way. 2004. Mm -hmm. So it'll be season 25 that airs February 20th. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, I think we've pretty much exhausted all of our uh, questions here. We have for some now? people saying come to Banff, Alberta. Oh, yes. Um, oh, we were come there, weren't we? We, you know, well, we were in Alberta, but we didn't go we to We didn't Banff. go to Banff. Okay. No. Love to, yeah. Alberta. Love to. Uh, well, I just want to thank everyone for joining. Thank you, TikTok, for joining us. Sorry about that little hiccup there. I forgot to plug in the <laughs> phone and we plugged you in. So Chris, you're going to have to watch that next time, okay? Yeah. <laughs> you got to. You have to be there to help her out. <laughs> she needs a technical advisor on both sides of the lens here. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> no, both Lisa yeah. and I, and uh, thank you guys, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, and uh, Instagram, and all of the podcasts and everything that this may air on. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, 
you know, occasionally we'll have a guest on. So thank you, Babe, so much for joining. Yeah, us. this has oh, been awesome. really fun. Yeah, I, enjoyed I really it. appreciate it. I enjoyed it. So um, awesome. But yeah, awesome. so we just really appreciate it. End it with what you yeah. say, and I'll end it with what I say. All right. Here's our closing. Remember to be kind, think kind, and stay kind. And you are an MVP because you matter, you have value and purpose, regardless of what anyone thinks or says. You need to believe it in yourself as well as in other people. I love it. Good closing. And we'll Happy probably New be Year. back. Happy New Year. We'll be back in two yeah. weeks. We're trying to do these every two weeks. So on That's the 25th, right. Amy and I will be back. Okay. Right. Cheers. Cheers, you All guys. Right. Thank you. Cheers. Happy Bye -bye. night. Thank you for participating. We love you.